and today we're going to be discussing how to fix a Dell computer that flashes an LED code of 2.5. So look something like this. Uh, it will either be in orange and white or all orange. If you find this in any way helpful, please like, share, things like that. All right. So a blink code like this, a or sorry, an LED code like this is indicative of a RAM problem. So we're going to show you how to test for this. So your computer is unplugged. Once you gain access to, voila, your RAM, you are going to unplug your battery because we don't want any power running to that main board. Okay. So first thing you're going to do is do what's called reseeding the RAM, which means taking it out and plugging it back in. Because if it comes loose, it can give you this code. First thing you do, put it back in. Take those little arms, pull them out, and put it back in. And then you're going to plug your machine back in and try to turn it back on. If that doesn't work, the next thing we're going to do is try taking one RAM stick out and then plugging your computer and turning it back on. Because RAM is kind of like a headlight on a car. It tends to be that one goes bad at a time. So the next thing you would do if that didn't work is you would try the other RAM stick, taking it out, plugging your machine back in, turning it on, seeing if that helps. Next thing as a Dell technician I would do is try putting it in the other port to make sure you don't have a RAM port problem and a bad stick because unfortunately that sometimes happens. And then you would try the other one lastly, plugging it back in and turning it back on. So if you remove one of your RAM sticks and you find your computer springs to life and it works and that LED code is gone, then you know that's a bad RAM stick. It needs to be replaced. Or if you find that it only works in one port, you might have a bad port. This is what your RAM stick looks like. This is the code you need, PC4-2133. To order another stick of RAM, or it would be a code similar to this. If you only have one RAM stick, you may need to buy a new one and try swapping it out and seeing if that works. If you don't have the option of taking one out. But don't forget, you can always upgrade to more gigabytes in your RAM, which is never a bad thing. But anyway, that is how I would diagnose this problem. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, or if you're just a fellow egghead, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and one of our certified repair technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.